This here is a physical CD containing the WinRAR application. I apologise about the delay, I know you've all been keen to see this, but it's only just arrived. All the way from California. I won't keep you waiting, so let's unbox this mother and boot her up. And there it is, an actual WinRAR CD. I've got to say I think it's beautiful, a minimalistic black and white design and an iridescent blue underside, which you can see is already covered in dust and is just under half full. But how could WinRAR be 292 megabytes in size? Let's load it up and take a look. We get taken to a full screen installation page designed by Ghost Installer. In the corner you can see perhaps the highest resolution WinRAR image in the world. So the installer by default wants you to register it, but I want the full experience so I'm going to install it as well. Now you remember earlier when I said it was 292 megabytes in size. This is why. It contains 94 installation packages for every language known to man in both 32 and 64 bit versions. Each is about 3 megabytes in size. The sad reality is, most WinRAR CDs will never be fully utilised. It seems the latest version of the CD was V5.8, which was from sometime last year. Sickeningly, 5.9 went live just hours after I bought it, so I must have just missed the chance to have that version burned to CD. That's going to haunt me forever. But I commend them for showing restraint and for sticking to the latest stable release instead of jumping the horse by including a beta on the CDs, which would be asking for trouble. So the installation went without a problem, though it was just the trial version. I had to register it using the register option. And it failed. But the second time it activated successfully. Thank goodness for that. So that's the physical copy of WinRAR. All in all I give it 8 out of 10 and can strongly recommend it to anyone looking for reliable ZIP software, especially when internet access is limited. 